everyone! Welcome back to Italian Time. We really need a jingle here. So today we're talking about a very common verb, the verb piacere, so to like. Very common and yet so difficult because in English this verb is really straightforward like I like sushi. I'm the subject, sushi is the object, I like sushi. She likes baseball. She is the subject, baseball is the object, she likes baseball. I don't like baseball. In Italian this verb is not straightforward. Why? Because I like sushi. In this sentence in Italian, I is not the subject. Sushi is the subject. And I is the indirect object. It's a little complicated, huh? Let me try to explain this better. So for example, to say my boyfriend likes cheese, I would say al mio ragazzo piace il formaggio. The strange translation that could help you understand this verb is to my boyfriend pleases cheese. <laughs> cheese pleases my boyfriend pretty much. Does that make sense now? That's why cheese is the subject. Cheese pleases my boyfriend. So when I say mi piace la pizza, I'm actually saying pizza pleases me. That's why I need that little particle mi piace, the indirect pronoun, because to me pizza pleases. Oh god, <laughs> it's so weird in English. For example, if I say la carne piace al mio cane, meat pleases my dog. So meat is the subject here, that's why it's confusing. To understand who is doing the pleasing and who is being pleased, you can actually spot two things. Either the particle, the indirect particle that we'll see in a minute, or the preposition a. I'll give you another example, you tell me what it, what it means. Ai miei amici piace la mia casa. My friends like my house. What about il calcio piace a Roberto? Roberto likes soccer. One more. A te piace viaggiare. You like to travel, so traveling pleases you. It's starting to make sense, right? Yeah, kind of. So next thing, I'm sure you're familiar with this, if you can't find the a, al, allo, alla, you will find the indirect object pronoun. Mi piace, I like. Ti piace, you like. Le piace, she likes. Gli piace, he likes. Ci piace, we like. Vi piace, you guys like. Gli piace, they like. Last thing that is important to understand the verb piacere is when to use the singular form of the verb piace and when to use the plural form of the verb piacciono. It depends on the subject, right? Because the verb goes with the subject. If I want to say my friend likes my dogs, in Italian, you know that the subject here would be my dogs because in Italian, the translation is my dogs, please, my friend. Dogs is plural, so the verb should go in the plural form. Piacciono. Al mio amico piacciono i miei cani. What if I want to say my parents like fish? What is the subject here? Fish pleases my parents. Even though my parents is plural, fish is singular. Il pesce. Il pesce piace singular ai miei genitori or ai miei genitori piace il pesce now you try what if i say i like penguins it's true by the way mi mm, i pinguini piace or piacciono piacciono because i pinguini is plural what if i want to say my boyfriend likes japanese food al mio ragazzo blank il cibo giapponese Piace, because Japanese food is singular. I think it's clear now. Can you give me a quiz? Yes. How do you say, my friends love Spanish? I mi amici amano lo spagnolo. Oh, that's true, that's not piacere. She said love. <laughs> love is different. Love is like a you normal You want me to say the same sentence with like? Yeah. Ai mi amici piace lo spagnolo. Are you trying to brag? Yes. In front of her? I just want I just want to show them what Italian time will do for them. Next question. My dogs like eggs. Le uova piacciono ai miei cani. Si. It's a strange sentence. How would you say they like eggs? They like eggs? Mm? Gli piacciono le uova. 
pronoun. If you don't want to say the full name, you can use the pronoun. Gli piacciono le uova. Good. But is le uova singular or plural? Le uova is plural, is an irregular plural. That's another video for another day. <laughs> Sorry. No swearing. That's all for today. Let us know if this video was useful. Leave a comment. And if you want to practice more, check out our Patreon page. And if this video wasn't useful, get the out of here. Kids might watch this video. It's editable. Check out our Patreon page. We'll leave a link below. And we post weekly, so stay tuned. Stay legit. Bye.